are going to get into this update on the Bedhead Masterpiece Spray. I shared my first impressions yesterday and unfortunately some of my footage got deleted, which I'm so upset about to be honest. But it's okay because today I'm going to not only update you guys, but I'm also going to take it off and reinstall. So hopefully if everything goes smooth, I'll be able to show you guys the install step by step on how I use this. Okay, so fingers crossed for that. So if you missed yesterday's video, please go check it out. I will link it right here in the cards. It will be there. It's going to pop out to you. Go watch that, then come back to this video um, because we are just going to talk about the update. My full first impressions, then it will be in that video. So make sure you go check out that video. As far as my nails, I am uploading a tutorial on how I do my nails on my second channel. That video will be up this week. So make sure you are subscribed to that channel. And I will link these glasses below in the description box if you guys want them, I know. All right, so let's start with the update on this wig. So as far as the application, the curls, everything, let me just say I absolutely love these curls on this wig. When I tell you they are so beautiful and so just easy to manage, they are so gorgeous. I will be sure to put this wig in the description box. I have not washed it still. This is kind of like what the curls would look like straight out the box. So if you was to just fluff it out, like the difference is just amazing once you fluff the curls. So overall, I love the curls. As far as the wig application, okay, so when I first applied it, I, like I said, it grabs, like it grabs the lace. As far as the shine, I have not noticed, and you can see for yourself, a lot of shine on the hairline. It still looks nice and smooth. Now you do see a little bit of the shine, like residue right here on the hair, but as far as it being on the lace, no, we don't we don't have that there. So it's pretty good with that. I did get just a little bit of lifting uh, right here. So I would definitely recommend tying this down because you will get some lifting as you can see. But overall, like it's still pretty secure. And like I said yesterday, I'm not gonna snatch it because again, this is not a wig adhesive. So it's going to give you that day to day, maybe two to three day hold, just depending on how much you use. For me, I only used about one spray. I didn't go crazy with it. I didn't double it up or anything like that. So it is a level four hold when it comes to the strength of it. But yeah, I think it did pretty good, you guys. So if you try it, oh, okay. So I'm getting a little bit of lifting and I already had some lifting, but it's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure you can double it up and get a better hold, but I don't think it's a bad product. I think it's pretty good. I do look for comfort when it comes to hairsprays because some hairsprays are not comfortable to wear throughout the day. I find that I may get a headache, you know, it just may be uncomfortable, but this is pretty comfortable. Like I said, besides the first hour of me applying it, I did notice that it did get comfortable. I'm, I'm guessing maybe because it did loosen up some too. So I'm going to jump right in and show you guys how I easily removed this product and then we're going to reinstall it. You guys know that I wear makeup. So a lot of times when I'm removing my wig, if I'm using a hairspray, um, I normally just wash my face, wash off all the makeup and while I'm doing that, my lace tends to lift. I'm just using like a hairspray. So the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes is how I normally would remove all of my makeup. And it's also good for, yes, you guessed it, wig removal. So what I'm gonna do, and I like this pack because the wipes actually stay moist. This right here, they come in individual um, packaging like this. And they stay moist a lot longer. So basically they look like this, you can see. And what I do is I open it up, of course. And you get one wipe in each little packet. Hold on, I don't, it don't say how many you get, but you get a good amount in here, so it's a good deal. I will link them below. So what I would do is just take it just like this and touch that hairline. Or if you don't want to do this, you can also just use water. Take a spray bottle and spray the hairline down with water and it should lift. But because I'm trying to be neat and get a good removal because I want to reinstall this, I'm just going to use a wipe because I don't want to wet down the hair. So I'm just rub and as you can see, it's starting to lift. And of course, if you have on makeup, it's going to remove that too. 
But this stuff is really good because it's really holding. <laughs> it's holding pretty good. I'm just go under and bring it down. And as you can see, it's removing it with ease. Do the same thing to the other side. I'm kind of going to release it. And then take my finger under the area that I released and just gently wipe and work that lace up. As you can see, it's starting to lift. And voila. It's nice and lifted. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna show you guys how to reinstall this wig with the spray. I wanted you to see what residue is left on the wig from the hairspray. As you can see, there's not much. So it's not a lot to clean. If you needed to clean it, you could just add a little water to the lace and wipe away any residue with a cloth. Okay, so I cleaned off the lace. So now we're gonna reinstall. I'm just gonna pin the hair back with some hair clips. Make sure it's lined up right, okay? And I'm also going to show you guys, hold on. So when I first installed this, I did like put concealer down the party. I did go in with some powder. I'm gonna do all that again for you guys is we're going to take the Bedhead Masterpiece Spray and I'm going to begin at the sides. Now the sides is the area where a lot of people have a problem keeping it down. I get it, I got it. I have that same problem, you guys. So I recommend using some hair mousse to lay some edges. Some of you don't like baby hair. If you create just a little bit of edges here with some hair mousse, I'll show you that in a second, it will help keep that area down. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the spray. And you wanna rub it because you don't want it to run. I'm gonna set the lace down onto the spray and then take my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry. I'm using a warm setting to do this. So I'm working in sections because if I was to spray it all at one time, it's going to dry before I get a chance to adhere the lace down. So I'm working section by section. Now I'm gonna to go to the middle section, rub, and then Gonna take this area here and pull it. I'm gonna pull it just like so. Hold it right here, press the lace down, and then dry it. This almost smell like bubble gum. It smell like the bubblicious. So I'm gonna grab here, hold it down with my finger, kind of separate the hair out of there. Just hold it down, push the hair back, make sure you press. So if you apply it too much, it the spray will get messy and create like a white residue. So be careful on how much you apply. Sometimes a little is a lot. I'm gonna take some of this Shea Moisture um, Weave and Wig Fly Away Hair Mousse. I'm gonna put it on the sides here. And like I said, when you use gel along with this on the sides or some hair mousse, it will make the, the ear area hold down longer rather than just using a spray by itself. You're not just using the lace there, you're using the hair to hold that area down too. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All these products smell so good, like really good. Okay, and you can just do the same exact thing you did to decide for this ear tab area. So now I'm gonna go down the parting with the MAC NC42 face powder to cover those knots. And this is the same thing I had did yesterday that you guys did not get to see. And just put that down the parting. And then to further hide the knots that's around this front area, I'm going to use just a bronzing powder that matches my forehead because the powder that I put in the scalp area matches my scalp. Um, so that makes sense, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna just apply that there. And you wanna make sure your powders are applied last because if you're still using wet products, around the hairline, what's gonna happen is it's going to rinse away the powder. So you wanna do this last once you finish your edges and your application. I'm gonna take some of that hair mousse again and apply it to smooth everything, get rid of the flyaways, tame some of this frizz, which it don't really have a lot of frizz, but you guys get the point. Like I said, I love these curls so much. Now I'm gonna take my hot comb and melt down that parting because if you don't, 
it will just look like you have powder foundation in your parting and you don't want that. You wanna blend everything down. Okay, so I will be sure to put this wig in the description box with all the products that I use in today's video. It'll all be linked below. And also go subscribe to Beauty by Marie. That's where I'm going to be posting my nail tutorial for you guys, um, if you would like to see that. Also be sure to give this video a like, comment below, and tell me, have you tried or will you be trying the Bedhead Masterpiece Spray? What's the difference between this and the Got To Be Insta Hold Spray? You guys, if you keep watching my videos, you'll see which one I grabbed the most. If I feel like this one is better, you definitely will see it in more videos over time. I can tell you that you get more product with this one. This one is 10.3 ounces and this one is only 9.1 ounces. And matter of fact, while we're here, let's compare the prices for both of them. The Got To Be Insta Hold Spray is retailed for about $7.99, as you guys can see. Masterpiece Spray is a bit more pricey. So I guess it just depends on what you like and what you want. It is retailing for about $22. Um, you can tell me what you think about it down below in the comment area. Like I said, I happened to be shopping for some hair products and I saw this one and I was like, hmm, let me give it a try. Let me give it a go. Um, so they may have a smaller bottle of it if you want to try it. I'm going to try to find it and link it below. All right, and I'll see you all back in my next video. Mwah.